the graphical representation of the data graphical representation of the data chart is the graphical representation of data okay so i see name five types of charts area chart line chart column chart pie chart and xy chart okay xy scatter chart okay. name the five types of chart you are having line chart pie chart column chart area chart bubble chart net chart and uh, your xy scatter chart okay you can name any five then name any six stock chart stock chart is also there you can name any five then name any six components of chart what are the various components of chart yes what are the chart various... area. Uh, plot, plot area, area legends chart area grid lines axis okay data x axis y axis very good chart area no, plot six, area seven. chart area plot area grid lines x axis y axis chart title axis title data labels and legends okay data series also data series data labels and legends okay mention two ways by which chart can be inserted in a worksheet two ways to insert a chart you mean insert menu chart option. insert menu chart option that is the one method second method chart, chart option on standard toolbar chart option or chart button on standard toolbar okay insert menu chart option that is the one method second method is chart button on standard toolbar so you will write all these four question answers in your fair notebook and you will send me the pdfs by tomorrow okay okay now next we will continue with the topic that we were doing yesterday we were on the topic of networking networking and multimedia computer networking and multimedia basics so what do you mean by network what do you mean by network sharing or in contacting information using a different network computer any other definition what do you mean by network network is group of devices linked to one another correct a devices connected devices okay group of devices linked to one another very correct these are the network means devices which are connected to each other and why we connect the devices to each other why we connect the devices to each other for communication and sharing of media correct for communication and for sharing of resources excuse me ma'am resources yes ma'am network or networking mein farak hai na network or networking mein yes ma'am nahi network computer network means a connection of devices okay theek hai okay now sharing of uh, we connect the devices for sharing the information and for communication okay three types of network three types of network lux kavanur what are the three types of network okay yes just lean network Hmm. I'm not getting your voice, Justine. Okay. Local area network, huh? metropolitan area network, wide area network. Correct. Local area network, LAN, metropolitan area network, MAN, and wide area network. But do you uh, give an example of local area network? Give examples of local area network. computers connected in a same building computers connected in a same building computers connected in a school building computers connected in an hospital computers connected in a computer lab or computers connected in an office building theek okay, hai that is a example of net, uh, local area network example of metropolitan area network anyone examples of metropolitan area network different branches of a building in a city different branches of an office of an organization in a same city 
or you can say cable Public network wi fi services cable network that is your the uh, computers which are connected within a same city or within a small area that is called a uh, metropolitan area network bigger than lan but smaller than van okay example of van wide area network atm atm, ATM services and internet okay now today we are going to study about the various transmission media various transmission media means the devices or the media which is used to connect the devices so there can be two types of transmission media one is the wired media second is the wireless media wired media is also known as bounded media or guided media wireless media is also known as unbounded media or unguided media these are the other names wired or wireless guided or unguided bounded or unbounded so in wired media as the name suggest wired media means where the devices are connected with the help of wires or cables when we connect the various computers with the help of cables to share information or to connect to each other that is called wired media and wireless media where we are not using any wires where we are not using any wires some wireless signals are used to send the data across the network then it is called wireless network okay so wired network where we use the wired media or wires are used and on wireless media where we use the uh, signals to transfer the data without using wires so wired medias wired medias can be of two uh, three types twisted pair cable coaxial cables and fiber optical cables so previously we use is the twisted pair cables twisted pair cables means one cable uh, one uh, some two or three wires which are twisted around each other and one power is there on the top of that that mm -hmm. is called twisted pair cable you usually have seen the those kind of cables around your houses also that is called twisted pair cable jisme wo red green ya yellow ya black color ki wires aapke aapko dekhi hongi aap logo ne now it turn it ha ethernet ethernet wires are used that is called ethernet wires or ethernet plug uh, sets are used to uh, connect the medias but now coaxial cables coaxial cables is like a cable wire jaise aapke cable ki wire aati hai isme ke wo kuch mesh sa hota hai aur single beech mein ek wire hoti hai aapne kabhi wo apne wo set top box ke piche ki wire ko utar ke dekhna uske piche ek chhota sa uh, pin hota hai pin center mein hai aur uske sath mein aas paas mesh hoti hai so that is called coaxial cables so all these kind of cables can be used but nowadays we use the fiber optical cables because they have a high speed and high quality high speed to transfer the data fiber optics cable theek hai so three types of wired medias can be used twisted pair cable coaxial cable and fiber optic cables to try connect the devices next is your transmission medias wireless medias wireless medias may we can have bluetooth can have microwaves satellites radio waves and wifi that is wireless fidelity bluetooth microwaves satellites radio waves and wifi that is full form of wifi is wireless fidelity what is the use of bluetooth what is bluetooth what is the use of bluetooth anyone ब्लूटूथ आप यूज करते हो डेली यूज करते हो अपने मोबाइल्स में अपने आपके और डिवाइसेस में लैपटॉप्स में आपके हेडफोन्स में यू यूज द ब्लूटूथ आपके कार कार में अपने आप यूज करते हो स्पीकर्स के साथ कनेक्ट करने के लिए व्हाट इज ब्लूटूथ यस नो आइडिया एनी वन the bluetooth is a wireless technology to connect the devices in a small range in a short range okay bluetooth is a technology to wirelessly connect the devices within a short range within a short area jaise hi aapka jo distance hai wo zyada hota jayega bluetooth ka signal weak hota hai because bluetooth requires a low uh, transceivers are there fixed within the devices which are used to receive and send the signals 
from one device to another device. So the transceiver transmits and receives the signals from one device to another device. One device will send the signal with the help of transceiver and the other device will receive the signal with the help of transceivers. So these are used to connect the various devices within a very small area, within a very short range to wirelessly connect the devices where we are not using uh, wires. For example, we can transfer the, any file from one mobile to another when we open the Bluetooth. We can see the various devices which are available around us when we open the Bluetooth or when we search for the Bluetooth devices. So whatever Bluetooth, when Bluetooth we switch on the Bluetooth, there are many devices can detect it if we are not uh, using some particular settings, okay? Next is your radio waves and microwaves and satellites. All these are used to transfer the data wirelessly over uh, between the devices uh, in a very large area from one place to another place by using the satellites, by using the radio waves and by using the microwaves. <clears throat> these are the uh, kind of waves. You need the wireless uh, transmitters or routers are there which will receive your data and transfer uh, transmits them into a form that the computer can understand. That means the wireless routers are there. We usually have the wireless routers when we connect our computers to the internet. So those routers will transfer the data, will transmit the, uh, transform the data into a form that the computer can understand, easily understand. Or the computer, whatever information we are sending, that, trans that router will transfer the information into the waveform and those waves travel from one computer to another or from one device to another, whether it is in any part of, uh, of the globe, okay? So wireless fidelity, Wi-Fi, what is Wi-Fi? You use the Wi-Fi. We all are using Wi-Fi. What is Wi-Fi? Yes. I mean, it's help us to connect to the internet without any yes, cables. Yes, it helps our devices to connect to the internet without using wires. Without using wires, we can connect to internet by using the Wi-Fi. These are the wireless routers. Okay, for this, we need a broadband connection from the some ISP and we need a wireless router that will connect our computer with the ISP. Okay. We need the broadband connection from ISP and these routers will help us to connect our system with the ISP. So ISP will provide us, the information will provide us the service of internet, service of using the internet. Okay, next is your cloud computing. What do you mean by cloud computing? You may have listened about this term. We are using this term extensively nowadays. Cloud computing. And storing of data in clouds. Storing, cloud data, storing data and assessing the data and programs over a cloud. What is cloud? What is a cloud? Cloud is a storage space, ah, storage space which can be accessed, ah, which can be accessed from anywhere with the help of internet. Storage space which can be accessed from anywhere or from any device with the help of internet. It refers to storing and assessing data and programs over internet instead of your computer's hard drive. A particular device per nahiya information, that information is available on a, such a place um, which can be accessed from anywhere. Aisi jaga par data hai, jaha se hum kabhi bhi, kahi bhi access kar sakte with the help of any device, but with the help of internet. Okay, it is not placed, uh, data is not any particular uh, hard drive, particular place, which uh, is a, in a room or in a table, but this place is available everywhere. So cloud computing is the delivery of computing services like servers, storage databases, networking, software, analytics, intelligence over the internet. That means it provides, it refers to the storing and assessing data over the program. And the cloud is uh, the, to store and assess the programs over a cloud, but you need, you need the internet connection and a device which will help you to assess that data. To store and access programs over a cloud, we need to access the cloud. Now, uh, you uh, data you uh, use karte ho, Google Drive. Google Drive kya hai? 
What is Google Drive? Cloud service. Cloud service. It is also a cloud Storage service. Storage on a server. Storage on a server. ठीक है दैट मीन्स गूगल कंपनी इज प्रोवाइडिंग अस अ स्टोरेज स्पेस व्हिच कैन बी एक्सेस्ड ओनली बाय अस बिकॉज़ वी आर यूजिंग सम लॉगिन आईडी एंड पासवर्ड अ प्राइवेट स्टोरेज स्पेस प्रोवाइड कर रही है टू द यूजर्स व्हिच कैन बी एक्सेस्ड फ्रॉम एनीवेयर सो इट इज इजी टू टेक द बैकअप ऑफ डाटा इट इज इजी टू स्टोर द फाइल्स व्हिच वी डू नॉट नीड टू कैरी देम अराउंड when we are moving when we are traveling or when we are going for some meetings or when we are going somewhere we do not need to carry our pen drives or hard disk with us because the data is stored on a cloud and wherever we go we just need a device and we connect it to the internet and access your own space anywhere and it does not only need the spare uh, provide the space storage space it also provides you the softwares that depends on the provider of the cloud computing service if it can also help us to provide you the services of software also database is also so we can access the cloud from anywhere and it provide us the easy easy methods to access the cloud so to store the data and to take the backup of data also okay so there are three types of clouds uh, two types of clouds basically one is your public cloud and second is your private cloud public cloud means the cloud common cloud service made available to the multiple subscribers jaise hum sab use karte hain cloud service chahe wo google drive ki hai chahe wo one drive hai chahe wo amazon cloud hai ya any other service so that is made available to the multiple subscribers we subscribe to them we get a login and password and we access the service there can be free space available that is a free cloud service and jab hum usko pay karke zyada space assess karte hai that is your paid service so that only uh, depend on the provider what provider is, uh, what the service provider cloud service provider is providing us whether it is providing the free service or whether it is providing the paid service okay we store our emails emails aapki store hoti hai wo kahan store ho rahi hai they are stored on the server of the company which is providing you the email service they are not stored on your hard drive so that is also stored on cloud that can be accessed from anywhere the cloud resources are owned and operated by a third party cloud service provider and delivered over the internet in public cloud we share the same hardware storage and network devices with other organization that the user uh, use the same cloud called the tenants the users the subscribers who are using the cloud they are called tenants so examples are Microsoft Azure, Google Drive, Amazon Cloud, Drive One, or you can say One uh, One Drive, and many other. I I Cloud is available. So all these are the examples Rock, of public cloud. Okay. Next is your private yeah, cloud. Amazon also offers cloud service. Hmm hmm. Amazon Cloud. AWS server. Okay. Next is private cloud or internal cloud or enterprise cloud. Private cloud consists of the computing resources used and exclusively owned by one business or organization. किसी एक particular organization में जब हम कोई space use कर रहे हैं, which is access to all the users of that same organization only, that is called private cloud. कि in private cloud the services and the infrastructures are always maintained by the owner of the organization. or on the uh, maintained by a private maintained on a private network means <clears throat> the network the computers connected in an organization using some space which is access to everyone that is called private cloud which is available to everyone that is called private cloud organization can have the uh, branches in the same uh, country in the same city or in the different countries maybe in different countries branches are there of the same organization but they are using the same space to store the data or to access the data private clouds are often used by the government agencies financial institutions and other mid to large size organization aap bank ki branches mein chale jao aap kisi ek branch mein bhi jaoge to agar aap you provide your sip number or account number you can get the details right so that means the information is stored on a central space on a central cloud which is accessed which is available to everyone in the same institution in the same organization 
okay that is called private cloud or enterprise cloud which is uh, limited to the organization only limited to the users of that organization only okay now private cloud there are examples of private cloud also uh, rock space is there cloud bees vm fair amazon virtual private cloud some examples are there it is also known as internal or enterprise cloud and refers on a company's internet resides on a company's intranet hosted by the center okay uh, intranet means internet means the computers which are connected all over the world okay intranet means the computers which are connected with an organization only and they are accessing the common information that is intranet okay anji is it clear is it clear till now there is one third form is hybrid cloud hybrid cloud is nothing it is just a combination of public cloud and private cloud it is just a combination of public cloud and private cloud the cloud environment in which various internal and external service providers provide service to many organization is known as the hybrid cloud a combination of both that means some private organization is accessing some uh, or having some cloud storage from the public uh, uh, provider so that is a combination of public and private cloud okay next uh, is multimedia what do you mean by multimedia multi means multimedia is a word made up of two words multi and media multi means many and media means mode of communication various forms of uh, various media. forms of communication various forms of communication can be text can be audio can be videos can be images can be animation so it can be defined as a collection of various media such as text audio animations images videos etc to produce and share information interactively now various elements of multimedia text graphics images audio video and animation audio formats are various audio formats can be mp3 wma mp3 ha uh, mp3 wma wav midi and real audio all these are the various formats for audio files and video files can be flash mpeg mp4 avi and uh, wmv quick time all these are the various forms of video files animation means still images special effects to the extend images uh, effects that we provide to the still objects so that it appears to be moving so animations can be of two types like 2d and 3d two dimension and three dimension okay anji is it clear till now any doubt any doubt till now i'm going internet i repeat kar do intranet intranet means the computers which are connected in a same organization and same organization mein jab computers connected hai they do not need to be in a same building they can be in separate cities they can be in a, a separate uh, countries also aap kisi bhi mobile company ke office mein chale jao vodafone mein ya kisi bhi mobile company ke office mein airtel mein chale jao theek hai you uh, if you ask them this system pe jo system baithe hain they are using internet uh, they are not using internet they were using intranet because they can access the information related to only to those database of users only the company the uh, telecommunication users only they are not allowed to use internet on those systems to access information from outside they are using only intranet because all those computers are connected to each other or to the main server from where they can access the information to the common cloud they are connected okay mm -hmm.